Welcome to episode one of Running Deep with the Valley. Today's feature takes us to Redbird Arena at our first stop of the day in Normal, Illinois. Preparation has begun for tonight's game with San Diego State in what is the ninth game of the 2018 Mountain West MVC Challenge. We visited with Redbird alum and the Mountain West Conference Senior Associate Commissioner Dan Butterly about tonight's matchup and the impact of what has been a successful eight-year run of the challenge. You know, being the eighth year of the Mountain West Missouri Valley Challenge, it's been a great challenge series, a great matchup for not only the Missouri Valley, but the Mountain West Conference as well. Both leagues are top 10 annually based leagues, uh, top 100 programs in each league. Uh, we stack up very well, and the challenge has been extremely competitive over those eight years. Uh, so excited again uh, to be here today to see this great matchup, uh, as well to get down to the uh, New Mexico Bradley game tonight and see how we end up this uh, eighth year of the challenge. The Valley on ESPN continues to be the driving force of national television exposure for the league. We caught up with broadcast partner Autumn Connolly of Redbird Productions to talk about the campus-based production model and the product generated by her mostly student-run production crew. And within Redbird Productions, it's all student-ran, so all of our staff are, uh, are undergrad students, and we have one grad assistant that works with our four full-time positions. So it's really cool to see the students grow and develop, whether they're freshmen or when they join us if they're seniors. Um, they kind of learn all of the different positions, but they don't ever stay in one position. We move them around so they can do cameras, graphics, technical directing. Uh, so it's cool to see them grow and develop. The Redbirds fell short against the Aztecs 75-65, but the Valley still had the 5-4 advantage heading into the final game of the 2018 event. Part two of our first episode of Running Deep with the Valley takes us 38 miles down I-74 to Carver Arena in the final Mountain West MVC matchup between Bradley and New Mexico. If you have ever adjusted your radio dial to a broadcast of the Braves in the last 40 years, there's one voice that has been a constant for Bradley basketball. Dave Snell has been on the call for more than 1,200 straight contests, and he chatted with us before the Braves took the court about his time in Peoria. Well, first of all, it's my alma mater. I graduated in, uh, in 76, and I've seen wonderful basketball players, but even better human beings. Percy Hawkins scored over 3,000 points, the all-time leading scorer. Uh, Anthony Parker, several players that played in the NBA. Marcus Pollard, who played here just for th three years, winds up playing with the Indianapolis Colts and, and having a great career. And I have no children myself. So every time somebody graduates, it's like one of my own. And uh, you become really close with these guys when you work with them. And then when it's time for them to leave, there's that separation anxiety that a lot of, that a lot of parents have. The Braves got out to a hot start, but in the end, couldn't overcome New Mexico and fell 85-75. The Challenge Series ended in a tie for the third straight year. Join us next week when the road takes us to Little Egypt and Southern Illinois University in Episode 2 of Running Deep with the Valley.